garden, not my garden, but my little bitty garden I just planted. You guys want to watch it? Turn around so you can see. Okay, can you see? Uh, yeah, you can see that. I don't want to over there. I don't want to water it. I planted so much stuff in here. It ain't funny. I planted can I put let's see I planted onions. I planted Brussels sprouts. I planted broccoli. I planted cauliflower. I I planted kale, arugula, spinach. I don't know. My first time, that was the, my first time growing in the, what is it, 12, 12 inch garden, or foot garden, where everything, um, everything's in a 12 inch square, square garden. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I guess I would share with you a little bit about my little birds. This morning I came out to feed and water them and they some of them were just laying there and like hmm they sleeping and not doing what they're supposed to be doing and then like they they weren't sleeping they were dead and one of them had its leg completely pulled off I don't know if that near right here uh, see if I can point at it with my camera anyway I don't know if that near is okay or not to just lay in there. I hope it's okay. One over there by the edge is fine. But that near, I'm not for sure. Anyway, there's my birds. What's left of them. Lost five of them. I guess my husband heard an owl this morning and then Old Yeller was hollering because the owl woke him up and he knew it was danger for the girls. Right, old yeller? And then over here, Big Red could have been hollering too. I'm not so sure. Hey, Big Red. Old yeller, you two gonna, you two gonna keep track of the birds all the time? I sure hope so. Anyway. Hey, Bernice. Anyway. That's pretty, pretty good amount of Time I uh, I'll show you what I did. I put this here piece of wood here to block off uh, the hole where some of the chickens got pulled through. So I block it off. I mean nothing can get in there. And then I got this netting here that I'm gonna. There's some more over there by the garage. I'll take it and wrap around it to turn this water off. Uh, I take that uh, netting and wrap it around it really good tonight. Keep those 
they be safe because once they find them, they're not going to leave them alone until they're all dead. Been through this before. And now I guess I'm going through it again. So, I watered that piece of the garden and I'll let you see how it's going when I do the garden uh, time. I guess that's tomorrow. So, right now I'm turning off the water so I don't make a big puddle in the yard. Water's leaking everywhere over here. Check that out. <laughs> you already got water everywhere. There we go. So, unhook this water hose so I can attach it where it belongs. This sure beats filling up my little green, uh, little thing, my jiggy, what is it called? Waterer, <laughs> watering can. I have a green watering can. Maybe it holds a half a gallon, maybe a gallon of water. It takes forever to water with that. So, get this here water hose and drag it around the yard. Anyway. That's pretty much all I have to share with you today. I uh, wanted to give you a little bitty bit of my work that I've been trying to do. I got all kinds of stuff to do. Yard work, besides garden work, and taking care of the animals. Oh, anyway, so I guess look this water hose back up. It's probably gonna leak all over. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. This water hose hooked up and we'll call it a day. Usually it's lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, but this time I had to turn it left to make it tight. So it's backwards. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Try not to get blown away. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, old yeller. Hey, looky, we got a wild turkey here in the yard. See it? Until it sees me, it won't move. But there's a bunch of them that comes through here. We even have some toms. See them? I hope you can see them. I'm not gonna get any closer because it will it'll be spooked. We cleaned all this up in here yesterday and got all the metal that was laying out all over the place and then mowed through here it looks a whole lot better we're trying our hardest to get this place cleaned up plant some new grass irrigate and uh reseed and then fertilize we have a beautiful yard hopefully we have a beautiful garden fruit trees full of fruit and meat in the kitchen <laughs> on the table you know, half of me wants to get rid of that rooster right there. But if I do, who would take care of these babies in the middle of the night? Like he did. One of those roosters would, I guess. <laughs> so, usually there's not just one turkey by itself. Usually there's several. Uh-oh, it sees me already. It's getting ready to fly. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with our garden tour, our garden time. Have a wonderful day. Ta-ta.